Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I'm going to show this vector identity consists of four different vectors. And this vector identity is also known as Lagrange identity. So to prove this, I first want to find the vector product of two vectors in each pair of brackets on the left side of this relation. And I begin from A cross B. The vector product of A cross B can be expressed in the form of a determinant like this one. Where I, J and K are unit vectors along X, Y and Z axis of Cartesian coordinates and A1, A2, A3 are the component of vector A in the direction of I, J and K and B1, B2 and B3 are the components of vector B. Similarly, the vector product of vectors C and D can be expressed in the form of this determinant where C1, C2, C3 and D1, D2, D3 are the components of vectors C and D respectively. Now, we know that the determinant of a matrix M equals the determinant of the transpose of the matrix M. So, using this property of the determinant of a matrix and its transpose, we can write the determinant of this matrix into, in the, into its transpose. That is, the vector product C cross D can also be written in the transposed form. So, I convert the rows into columns of this determinant and can write it into this form. Now, uh, with this form of the vector product C cross D, I can find the vector product A cross B scalarly multiplied with the vector C cross D and write their, uh, and write their corresponding determinants. I put a dot word here and then write it like this. Okay. Now, using the procedure for matrix multiplication, I can put this product into this form. So, uh, I obtain the first row by multiplying this row first with this column to get this element, then with this column to get this element, and then with this column to get this element. And the same I repeat for this row, multiplying first with this column, then with this column, then with this column, obtaining the first, second, and third element respectively. And then I do the same over here. Okay, I can put this whole determinant into a simplified form in the form of this determinant. Let us understand how can we write this into this form. Since i dot i equals 1, j dot j equals 1, k dot k equals 1, therefore 1 plus 1 plus 1 will make this element equal to 3 and I am writing 3 over here. Similarly, if I look carefully into this uh, element, it is C1 times unit vector i, C2 times unit vector j and C3 times unit vector k means this is vector C. That's why I write this as vector C. Similarly, this is vector D and I write this as vector D. This is vector A and I write this as vector A. And this is vector B. That's why I write this as vector B at this position. Now, if I carefully look into the rest four elements, one over here, this is in fact the scalar product of vector A and C. This is the scalar product of vector A and vector T. This is the scalar product of vector B and vector C. And this one is the scalar product of vector B and vector D. That's why I write this thing as A dot C, this thing as A dot D, this thing as B dot C, and this thing as B dot D. Now I can expand this determinant with respect to first row. And doing that, I can write this into this form that is uh, if I expand this uh, 3 I'll take the determinant of the rest of the four elements and I'm writing it in this way then minus C times this A, A of B and A dot D and B dot D and I can write the second term like this and then multiplying with T I can write it like this.
Now, uh, opening this determinant, I can write three times this multiplied by this minus this multiplied by this and can write the first determinant into this form. Similarly, I can write the second determinant into this c at its own place in this a times b dot d which I am writing over here and then b times a dot d and then writing over here. One thing you might note that b dot d is a number and uh, that's why I write there to the left. Similarly, a dot d is a number and that's why I write there to the left of vector b and this is of vector c. And then I open the last determinant into this form. Now I open this term and can write this in the form of two terms, 3 multiplied with this term, 3 multiplied with this term and can put it into this form. Similarly, over here c dot, uh, vector c will multiply with vector a, putting the dot between them and I can write this term and this term is uh, this thing b dot d its own place and I multiply c with a scalarly to write this thing and then I multiply c with b to write this thing and I have used the commutative property of scalar product to write c dot b as b dot c and the same thing I can do with this thing I can write b dot c at its own place in d multiply scalarly with a to write them in the form a dot g and similarly d multiply scalarly with b and I write that as p dot d. Now if we look very carefully a dot c times b dot t this element combines with a dot c times b dot t to make it 2 times a dot c times b dot d. And similarly, this term a dot d times b dot c combines with this term to make it 2 times this term. So, I rewrite the relation into this form. Uh, this I am rewriting at this position and now I write 2 times a dot c times b dot d plus 2 times a dot d times b dot c. Now, I can subtract this term this term to make it a dot c times b dot d and can subtract this last term from the second term to make it minus a dot d times b dot c. That is I can put the final result into this form and if you carefully look this thing is exactly what we have at this position. So this is the proof of the this vector identity. If you haven't just subscribed to Safi Max, kindly support the channel by pressing the subscribe button and also the like button on the video. Thanks for watching.